good morning to everyone god has added one more week in our lives to give praise and worship his holy name it is our privilege to be in the presence of the lord to exalt this wonderful god amen hallelujah we have we are experiencing his goodness and faithfulness in our life and this morning with a thankful heart let us give thanks and give praise and exalt the name of the lord hallelujah let's bow down our heads and look to the lord in prayer thank you jesus thank you father lord lord your love is amazing oh god lord you're an unchanging god hallelujah hallelujah this morning lord lord we exalt your name oh lord we glorify your name oh lord jesus hallelujah lord we are in your presence by your grace oh god hallelujah thank you for your faithfulness oh god thank you for your grace oh lord jesus lord your grace is sufficient for us oh god hallelujah thank you jesus spirit of god we welcome you now in this place oh lord jesus we need you more and more oh god hallelujah lord you are the living water never drying fountain we want you more and more oh god we want you more and more oh lord jesus hallelujah lord fill each and every one who are hearing this word god we need your power oh lord jesus we need your power oh lord jesus hallelujah thank you jesus thank you father lord hallelujah lord we submit ourselves into your mighty hand oh lord jesus in jesus name i ask amen amen hallelujah we are going to sing some songs and we are going to exalt the name of the lord our god is wonderful our god is mighty hallelujah he picked us from the miry clay and set our feet on the rock to exalt his no- holy name hallelujah let's all exalt by singing this wonderful song pick me up from the miry clay put me on the rock to stay from the mary clay put me on the rock to stay pick me up from the mary clay put me on the rock to stay oh my life was in a mess i thought there's no way out then i cried on jesus name and he gave me a brand new start the mary clay put me on the rock to stay oh my life was seen a mess i thought there's no way out then i cried on jesus name and he gave me the brand new start he's the rock Jesus is the rock on whom I stand 
He's the love and our light. Hallelujah. He's our hope. And there is no one like our God. I mean, hallelujah. This morning, with a thankful heart, give praise and glory to that wonderful name. Hallelujah. There is no other name like our God. I mean, hallelujah. Our God is wonderful. Our God is faithful. Hallelujah. Our great God, who has delivered us, from the bondage who has delivered us from the sin hallelujah i believe that he will be able to deliver from the plague which we are experiencing now i mean hallelujah because we are living not because of our strength we are living because of our god's strength i mean this morning how many of you believe that god is fighting for us how many of you believe that god is on our side if so we'll sing this song and we put all our trust in the living God and exalt His holy name. God is fighting for us. God is fighting for us. God is on a side. He has overcome us, He has overcome. We will not be shaken, we will not be moved. Jesus, you are here. Carrying our burdens, covering our shame. Carrying our burdens, covering our shame. He has overcome us, He has overcome. We will not be shaken, we will not be moved. Jesus, you are here. I will live, I will not die. The resurrection power of Christ alive with me, and I am free in Jesus' name. I will declare and lift you high, Christ reveal, and I am healed in Jesus' name. One more time we are going to sing, carrying our burdens, covering our shame. We will not be shaken, we will not be moved, because of God is with us. Carrying a burden, covering a shame. He has overcome us, He has overcome. We will not be shaken, we will not be moved. Jesus, you are here. Those who believe that, sing with me. I will live, I will not die. I will live, I will not die. The resurrection power of Christ alive with me, and I am free in Jesus' name. I will live, I will not die. I will declare and lift you high, Christ revealed. And I am here in Jesus' name. God is fighting for us, pushing back the darkness, lighting up the kingdom that cannot be shaken. God 
is fighting for us, pushing back the darkness, lighting up the kingdom that cannot be shaken in the name of Jesus. Enemy is defeated, and we will shout it out, shout it out. God is fighting for us, pushing back the darkness, lighting up the kingdom that cannot be shaken in the name of Jesus, enemy is defeated, and we will shout it out, shout it out. I will live, I will not die, the resurrection power of Christ alive with me, and I am free in Jesus' name. I will not die, the resurrection power of Christ alive with me, and I am free in Jesus' name. One more time, we are going to sing, God is fighting for us, pushing back the darkness. God is fighting for us, pushing back the darkness, lighting up the kingdom that cannot be shaken in the name of Jesus. Enemy is defeated, and we will shout it out, shout it out. God is fighting for us, pushing back the darkness, lighting up the kingdom that cannot be shaken in the name of Jesus, enemy is defeated, and we will shout it out, shout it out. I will live, I will not die. Resurrection power of Christ alive in me, and I am free in Jesus' name. I will declare and lift you high, Christ be with, and I am healed in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Those who believe in the Jesus' name, put your hands together and exalt His wonderful name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We will live, we will not die, hallelujah, because our God is protecting us from all the bondages, hallelujah, from all the plagues, we are his children, we are his people, hallelujah, we will live for his glory, amen, hallelujah, the enemy can't do anything, the enemy can't control us, because this morning, we are worshipping the living God. Hallelujah. He's here in our midst. He's the way maker. He's the miracle worker. He's the promise keeper. We bless your name. We worship your name, Lord. Let us sing this wonderful song, You Are Here. How many of you believe this morning God is here in your life? When we call upon the name of the Lord, surely He will be there in our midst. Hallelujah. Those who believe it, declare with me. You are here, moving in a I worship you. Play. I worship you, I worship you. One more time. 
more time. You are here, moving in our midst. I worship you. I worship you. You are here, working in this place. darkness my God that is who you are we make a miracle walk promise keep a light in the darkness my God that is who you are you are here judging every heart I would Our God is the healer, our God is the promise keeper, He is our light, He is our hope, thank you Jesus. We make a miracle work, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God that is who you are. Light in the darkness That is who you are One last time you are here You are here Moving in our midst I worship you I worship you You are here Working in this place My God, that is who you are. How many of you believe that this morning? We make a miracle, 
promise keep polite in the darkness my god that is who you are we believe in you lord you are lasting god king of kings and the lord of lords we bless your name we worship your name oh god hallelujah thank you jesus Thank you Father Lord thank you Jesus hallelujah light of the world we exalt your name oh Lord Jesus we exalt your name oh Lord Jesus Lord we love you with all our hearts oh Lord we worship you with all our hearts This is our desire oh lord is to honor your name oh lord we give ourselves into your hand oh lord jesus father lord we worship you lord this is my This morning as we worship and lift the holy name I love God give your life to God Lord as a church we offer ourselves as a living sacrifice oh Lord Jesus Let your will be done in your lives Lord Let your will be done in our lives oh Lord Jesus Hallelujah This morning let this be our prayer to say to God Lord have your way in me Lord have your way in me 
Lord, have your way in me. Here I am to worship. Here I am to bow down. Here I am to say that you're my God. You're all together loudly, all together worthy, all together wonderful to me. Here I am to worship, here I am to bow down, here I am to say that you're my God. You're Wonderful, merciful Savior, have your way in me, Lord. Have your way in me, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We worship you, O God. We glorify your name, O Lord. We magnify your name, O Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you for the privilege that you've given us to come in your presence, to call you Abba Father, O oh Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we submit the rest of the time in your mighty hands, O oh Lord. Lord, you lead us. Let your name be exalted through us, O oh God. In Jesus' name, we ask. Amen. Let's all turn your Bibles with me to Psalm 20. May the Lord answer you in the day of trouble. May the name of the God of Jacob defend you. May he send you help from the sanctuary and strengthen you out of Zion. May he remember all your offerings and accept your burnt sacrifice. May he grant you according to your heart's desire and fulfill all your purpose. We will rejoice in your salvation and in the name of our God, we will set up our banners. May the Lord fulfill all your petitions. Now I know that the Lord save his anointed. He will answer him from his holy heaven with the saving strength of his right hand. Some trust in chariots and some in horses. But we will remember the name of the Lord our God. They have bowed down and fallen, but we have risen and stand upright. Save Lord, may the King answer us when we call. Let's all read verse number 7 together. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we will remember the name of the Lord our God. Hallelujah. We have a wonderful God whom we can trust completely. Amen. Hallelujah. Once again, greetings to you all in the name of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Hope you're all doing good. We all thought that this week we'll be in the church worshiping God, but this quarantine extended. Even though we are far away, we all can experience His presence wherever we are. Amen. Hallelujah. That is the wonderful privilege which you and me have got. The Spirit of God is always there with us. Amen. Hallelujah. Even though we are far, He gives us oneness in spirit. Amen. This morning, we are going to hear God's word from 1 Samuel chapter 7, verse 3. 1 Samuel chapter 7. Verse 3. I will read it for you. Then Samuel spoke to all the house of Israel saying, If you return to the Lord with all your hearts, then put away the foreign gods and the Ash Ashtoreths from among you and prepare your hearts from the Lord and serve him only. And he will deliver you from the hand of the Philistines. He will deliver you from the hands of Philistines. 
when we come to this chapter the people are under the control of philistines they are slaves for long time there are times they try to overcome the philistines but they failed again and again this morning the title of my sermon is written to the lord if you if you and me need deliverance we have only one hope that is our god amen without god we can't do anything and we have to return to god with all our hearts amen hallelujah that's what samuel is advising to the people prepare your hearts for the lord and serve him only and when you come in the beginning of that verse put away the foreign gods put away the foreign gods amen here the people they have two enemies the first enemy is philistines and second one is they were pushed to worship the false gods they were pushed to worship the idols amen hallelujah when you look at the background of this passage israelites they were in ebenezer and they were fighting against philistines i mean in that battle israelites were defeated and 4000 men were killed on that battle and philistines won that and the people if you come to uh, fourth chapter first samuel chapter 4 there the people are saying why has the lord defeated us today before the philistines why has the lord defeated us before the philistines amen there are times when we go through failure there there are times when we are defeated by the enemies we used to ask the same question like israelites lord i am going to church every sunday every day i am reading bible i am worshiping god for each and every moment i am saying stotram still why this happen in our lives we used to ask this question and the people these israelites they found out that they are not having the ark of god ark of god is the symbol of god's presence it shows that god's presence is with them they found that god's presence is not with us that's why we are facing this failure and they inquired and they found that the ark is in shilo and they sent people to bring the ark i mean when you come to verse number 5 uh, chapter 1 samuel chapter 4 verse number 5 when the ark of the lord come into the camp all israelites shouted so loudly that the earth shook the people were very happy when the ark entered into the camp they believe that ark is here now so we can easily defeat the enemies we can easily defeat our enemies when these people started to shout and praise the enemy is hearing that and they able to found that why there is so much noise why these people are celebrating and they found out that god's ark is there in the midst of israelites and when you continue to read this chapter the people they were scared the philistines they were scared and they said among themselves men be strong and conduct yourselves as like men these are the conversation of philistines amen they know about their israelites god they know what god did to pharaoh they know what happened to the egyptians they know how lord led them thus far they have seen they have heard all about the god of israel but now they were scared they were afraid but they were encouraging one another conduct yourself like men and fight and they were ready to fight with israelites amen israelites have full of hope 
that they will conquer the enemy they will easily conquer the enemy but you know what happened the ark of god is there but the people fail to defeat the philistines earlier before the ark 4000 people died after the ark of god in the camp now 30000 israelites were died elis two son hofni and phinehas died and we all know when eli heard that message he also died in the whole camp people are crying and mourning i mean they were wondering we had the ark of god we had the ark but we were not able to defeat the philistines amen hallelujah there are times we also used to cry lord i am worshiping you why i am facing this why i am going through these troubles you know the sad part is the israelites lost 30000 men and also they lost the ark of god amen the philistines took the ark of god amen hallelujah what a shame what a pathetic condition but you know the people they started to cry they started to mourn amen there are times we don't know what god will do there are times we have certain plan but it won't god won't work according to our plans amen hallelujah that does not mean god is not in control amen this morning for you for your family if everything it may be looks the situation may looks difficult for you everything around you may not go according to the plan but you know my god is living god amen hallelujah you know what happened even though it failed for israelites philistines thought that they have got the ark they have received something now no one can do anything because we have the ark of god you know what they did if we come to the first samuel chapter 5 there from ebenezer they took the ark to ashdod and they placed the ark inside the temple in front of their god dagon you know what happened they placed the ark in front of their god the next morning when they got up the dagon fallen on its face to the earth before the ark of god so they set it again the next morning when they got up the head of dagon and both palms of its hands were broken not only that god struck the people and if you come to the people of ashtod if you look at the people of ashtod god struck them with tumors amen hallelujah there are times we think that enemy there are times we think that enemy is war coming us now no one can do anything no one can control the enemy but you know that my god is always in control the people those who are inside the camp of israelites they were crying they were mourning because we don't have the ark the philistines could have thought that we have the ark we can be happy but you know god struck them god won't allow your enemies to be happy amen even though you seems like enemy got the victory god continue to work amen this morning i encourage each and every one of you believe in god trust in god amen you are looking at the enemy's victory don't worry about that my god is in control amen here the people they were struck with tumor and they said we don't want this ark here and some advised that take the ark ark to gath and they took the ark to the gath there also problem happened god struck them and then from uh, from gath they took to ekron and ekron all in the people of ekron also struck by god and there also god struck them with tumor amen hallelujah in the philistines land the ark was there for 7 months then the people said what we can do they call the priests they call the diviners 
and what we can do and the divinities and the peace priest advised them send this ark to israelites send this ark to israelites you are worrying how we can overcome the great enemy how we can bring back the ark amen hallelujah there are times no need to worry my friends trust in the lord put your hope in the lord god will fight for you amen here the israelites are not doing anything but the philistines they are sending back the ark amen hallelujah but the sad part is they send the ark they send offerings and the people of beth shemesh when they found the ark they were rejoiced they were happy and they found that offering is there on that day they offered burnt offering to the lord and you know what happened on that day around 50000 people died god struck them the people of beth shemesh if you come to uh, chapter 6 verse 19 there he struck 50070 men of the people and the people lamented because the lord has struck the people with a great slaughter and the people are crying who is able to stand before the holy lord god amen hallelujah who is able to stand before the holy lord of israel no one can hallelujah this morning you and me worshiping a powerful god amen no enemy can stand in front of our god amen hallelujah you are looking at yourselves you are looking at your strength you know my friends the enemy he is not looking at you he is looking at your god because you are not displaying yourselves you are displaying god amen and they send these people they send message to kiriath jerin and the people of kiriath jerin they bought the ark and the ark was there in kiriath jerin for 20 long years you know still the ark is there in the israel side the people are still in the bondage amen in that moment the people are in pain the people are in bondage in they are under slavery even though they have the presence of god even though they have the ark of god they were not able to experience victory they were not able to experience peace and if you read first uh, samuel chapter 7 verse 2 last part and all the house of israel lamented after the lord the people are mourning the people are mourning hallelujah as a people we have to rejoice and we have to celebrate the lord instead the people are lamenting because they have the ark but they were not able to experience the victory amen hallelujah in that moment samuel is advising to the people he is advising to the people three things in verse number 3 put away the foreign gods prepare your hearts for the lord and serve him only amen hallelujah the first thing put away the foreign gods these people they have the ark here but their hearts not longing for god alone amen rather they are holding the gods of philistines they are having the images of baal they are having the images of ashroth they are worshiping god they are worshiping the living god and they are also worshiping the false gods amen hallelujah in this world they every christians wants to go heaven but they don't want to walk in the ways of heaven rather they want to go heaven but they will walk in the ways of this world amen they love to walk according to the standards of this world they are not completely trusting god they find difficult to walk according to god's word amen hallelujah this morning i like to ask you here if you need deliverance prophet is advising prophet samuel is advising 
put away the foreign gods put away the idols amen this morning everyone have different kinds of idols in our lives what about you for some the idol is pride for some the idol is self righteous for some the idol is lust for some addiction for some money this morning if you need deliverance you have to put away the idol you have to put away the idol and you have to return to god with all your hearts amen hallelujah you have to confess your sin you have to allow god to control your lives you should please only god amen hallelujah there are times we love we actually most of the times we are double standard right we love god and we love this world amen we are god blessed you and me god saved you and me the only purpose he selected you because he believed in you he thought that you will glorify him alone amen But to this people god promised them god told them through moses i am the lord i have delivered you from the bondage of egypt and if you read exodus chapter 20 verse 3 you shall have no other gods before me you shall not make you shall not make of carved image and worship exodus chapter 20 verse 8 20 verse 5 for i the lord your god am a jealous god amen my god don't want you to worship him and he don't want you to walk in your ways amen if you see god if you trust this god trust him alone if you love to worship god worship this god alone amen this morning what are the idols you are holding is there are anything you are giving more importance other than god our god should be our first priority amen hallelujah our god should be above everything amen this morning we read the people they put their trust in horses and chariots but we the people of god we are not going to trust whatever we have we put all our trust in god alone amen hallelujah one man have said like this repentance is to leave the sins we loved before and show that we in yanus grieve by doing so no more amen hallelujah not only that giving your hearts not only put away the idols not only return to the lord with all your hearts then samuel is saying serve him only serve him only god want you to glorify him alone amen this morning ask yourselves whatever you are doing you are doing many things right is everything bringing glory to god this morning take a decision If, if there are anything which is not brings glory to god i am going to leave that i am going to leave that allow god let his light shine in the darkest areas of our lives let his light flows in our life amen hallelujah when you allow him he sanctifies us amen and he mel- makes us to obey his will and let's love our god with all our hearts with all our soul amen he promised he challenged the people put away the false gods prepare your hearts for the lord and serve him only if you come to verse number 4 there you see so the children of israel put away the baals and the ashtoreths and serve the lord only hallelujah hallelujah they obeyed god's servant they obeyed the voice of god now samuel called everyone come to mispa mispa is a place from in mispa the people they started to seek god earnestly and the servant of god he offered they gave he offered from verse number 6 Samuel and the people they were started to cry it out amen 
and in verse number 8 so the children of israel said to samuel do not cease to cry out to the lord our god for us that he may save us from the hands of philistines amen hallelujah here the people they started to cry the samuel he started to cry they started to seek god earnestly amen in the gospel of luke there in gospel of luke chapter 18 verse 1 there we can see that jesus spoke a parable to them that that men always out to pray and not lose heart jesus is asking us to pray continually pray without ceasing pray without ceasing and in chapter 18 luke gospel of luke chapter 18 verse 7 there you will find and shall god not avenge his own elect who cry out day and night to him though he bears long with them amen hallelujah you and me have a loving god who hears our prayers and who answers our prayers and when the people when the enemy the philistines when they heard about the people all have gathered in wispa they started they were marching to battle against israelites the people were afraid they everyone is crying out calling out god and you know what happened when the samuel started to offer the lamb when the israel started to cry out lord answered them and when you come to verse number 10 now as samuel was offering up the burnt offering the philistine drew near to battle against israel but the lord thundered with a loud thunder upon the philistines that day and so confused that they were overcome before israel hallelujah hallelujah for long times these people they were not able to defeat the enemy they were not able to defeat the philistines but when they put away the idols when they give their hearts and when they started to serve god alone god started to work god started to deliver them hallelujah samuel took a stone and set it up between mispah and shen and called it ebenezer saying thus far the lord helped us thus far the lord helped us amen hallelujah this morning how many of you can declare that our god is an ebenezer our god is an ebenezer amen god has led us in a wonderful way amen god has delivered us from many problems from many sickness this morning the god who has led thus far he will able to deliver you and prosper you how many if you believe that i mean if you believe that if you trust him give your heart completely to god amen and we able to read so the philistines were subdued and they did not come any more and they did not come any more why they did not come any more because they didn't fight with the ordinary israel they fought with the god of israel i mean hallelujah hallelujah your enemy is not fighting with you your enemy is fighting with god i mean hallelujah if god is with us who can stand against us i mean this morning if you believe that god god is enough for me his grace is enough for me don't love this world love the lord with all your heart with all your soul with all your might hallelujah take a decision whatever i do it should bring glory to god if you give your life completely to god surely god will deliver you god will prosper you may god bless you through this holy word let's all bow down our heads and look to the lord in prayer father god thank you for this day o lord thank you god for speaking to us through your word o lord jesus lord your grace is enough for us o lord you are the god who deliver us this morning we need your deliverance o god our nation need your deliverance o lord jesus lord as a church we set our eyes on you alone o god you alone can deliver us o lord this morning we return to you 
Lord, we put away all the unwanted things. Lord, we throw away all the idols. Lord, we are not going to boast ourselves. Lord, we are not going to boast anything, O oh God. We boast only about you. Amen. Hallelujah. I will boast my God and my Savior. Hallelujah. That is the greatest things which we have, O oh God. Lord, this morning, Lord, we allow in our lives, O oh Lord Jesus. Lord, you continue to lead and control your children, O oh God. Lord, I pray that let this word may encourage each and every one. Lord, let them serve you alone. Hallelujah. When we serve you and when we seek you, when we cry out in your presence, surely you are the living God who answer our prayers. You will deliver from all troubles, O oh Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for your word, O oh Lord Jesus. Let the people continue to listen to your word. Let them continue to trust and live for your glory. Let your name be honored through them, O oh Lord. In Jesus' name I ask, Amen. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and love of the Father and the sweet coming of the Holy Spirit be with you forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May God bless you all.